As we already told before, we are presenting a project, the Euromaidan Journalist Collective, and we will tell you a couple of news that we saw and heard and recorded today. And we will start from the one of most unexpected <laughs> thing that could happen to us, and maybe you Yulian, can tell me a little bit more. Uh, as part of our project here in Kyiv, we are collecting uh, interviews uh, for a comprehensive documentary and uh, we're visiting some sites around the city and we uh, this morning walked out of the St. Michael's uh, Golden Domed Monastery to see a crowd forming around none other than Senator John McCain of Arizona and uh, we walked over to him and, and started walking along with him. He was walking from the monastery to the interior ministry building. Uh, we walked ahead and, and he sort of looked at us and, and said, hello, how are you? And we answered, we are, we are well. Um, and he uh, offered to answer a question. So we asked uh, how Mr. McCain feels that uh, the Ukrainian diaspora uh, and Ukrainians in the United States can help contribute to the Maidan, the very thing he came to the United uh, to, came to Ukraine to help support, help learn about. Uh, and he said the the best way that people in the United States can support Ukraine at this moment is not only to come and participate in the Maidan as Americans, as Ukrainians, but also to write. Uh, write representatives, write the government, etc. So uh, Mr. McCain's words are, I feel, very powerful and uh, everybody who's out there uh, should take heed of, of what Mr. McCain said. Later, Mr. McCain, uh, after his meeting in the Interior Ministry building, uh, came outside and once again answered a couple of questions, uh, especially that the uh, United States um, is very concerned with uh, everything that's been going on in Ukraine. Uh, and and that he is looking forward, and this meeting happened earlier today, with meeting with opposition leaders, um, namely uh, Vitaly Klitschko, Arseniy Yatsenyuk, and Oleg Chekhnebok. Okay, and later on we went with our trip all the way here around the Maidan and as you probably know here was another very big protest uh, taking taking part the next door uh, and it was uh, as we call it anti-Maidan that was the uh, the protest that with uh, with the for our president and for our main party and uh, we were there at 7 p.m. and there were many many buses many police and we actually couldn't get in but as we were pressed we were allowed to get in and the thing we saw is was nothing we just saw empty toilets and people were uh, were packing the stage and all the metal constructions so we didn't see any protesters but then we saw actually something really incredible the whole people who were uh, the army guys who were protecting this uh, probably protecting this this meeting this protest they were building up the columns and they were singing Ukrainian national anthem with the orchestra very beautiful one on the empty square and um, and then they walk back home like okay you did your job great and now you have some free time <laughs> yeah, it was something that we didn't expect to see there for sure uh, yeah and what else and there is a, what about news you want to say uh, thank you everyone everyone who is uh, uh, coming together on the Euromaidans all around the world and uh, and and I know that